Welcome to Devotions on this Friday, September 27th. We are using Christ in Our Home from our partners in Aug at Augsburg Fortress. Today's reading comes from Psalm 19, beginning at verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. But who can detect their errors? Clear me from hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from the insolent. Do not let them have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. The devotion today is entitled Healing Words and Thoughts, with the focus on that last verse 14, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord. It's Sunday morning. I've read the gospel and now I'm stepping into the pulpit. As I have for all of my 18 years as a pastor, I invite everyone to join me in prayer using a slightly modified form of the verse above. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable to you, O Lord. I want my message to align with God's word and be understood as such. These words might also prove useful for us in daily life, where contention and division are all too common and many people seem to be looking for trouble. On the internet, in the media, in the town square, and at kitchen tables, people are frequently ready to take offense at the slightest provocation. Because it is easy to be swept into conflict, we would be wise to pray Psalm 1914. If our words and thoughts are acceptable to God, we may serve as a healing, calming presence in the world. An invitation to prayer. Holy God, help me to align my mind, heart, and words with your purposes. Amen. And our prayer concern today is for Lutheran Peace Fellowship. Thank you for joining me. Blessings on your day, and we'll see you soon.